It slowed us right down. I mean, they started in April and tore it up, and they had it blocked from Court Street all the way to uh, Second Street. And now they're tearing it up again. It makes it very hard for my customers to get in here. Most of them are elderly, and they uh, aren't going to walk like most young people can to get into the store. Daniel Spanola is the owner of Paul's Pipe Shop on Saginaw Street in downtown Flint. The company has been in business for 95 years. He wants to see the business make a century, but doesn't know if they'll survive another street closure. I know we've been really slow and we're falling a little bit behind on everything, so it, it's getting tough to hang in here. Work on Saginaw Street began in April to restore the historic bricks, make sidewalk improvements, and upgrade the water main beneath the road. But an issue with the material used to bed and lock the bricks now has Saginaw Street between Court Street and 4th Street closed again for reinstallation. It's frustrating. Uh, I, I just, I don't know what to do. After the first phase, the construction team determined that the bricks needed to be pulled up and repalletized after they say they noticed the bricks were shifting. And for Spinell, this isn't the only mishap his business is battling. In the alley, uh, uh, a building has fell and it's actually taken up my parking lot so I can't park back there. We have to walk a block to get to work. However, his biggest concern is once the roads are finally fixed, will business ever be back to normal? Once people can't get here and they find other places to go, when it does open back up, sometimes you'll see them back, sometimes you won't. They get in a routine and they just go other places and they just may never come back. The project is expected to be completed by fall 2024. For WNEM TV5, I'm Lenita Brooks.